Tynan, 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 Tynan. I'm 100% Tynan. Tynan, 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 Tynan. I'm 200% Tynan. Tynan, 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 Tynan. Welcome back to Rimworld. Now, uh, we we reset some bits in our kill boxes, and uh, according according to your guys' advice, I'm actually going to thanks to uh, Zach for the tip on this. You actually need to put in sandbags to prevent standing in your kill box. So uh, what I've done is to bring the entrance up a little bit so that uh, they're not out of range of our machine pistols, which is uh, ab about this far or that far or so, and then everybody could shoot them from here. Enemies need to walk through the kill box and out, and then we can spray and pray. Because spraying and praying does work pretty well. So let's just uh, do that for the rest of our kill boxes and then take care of the rest of our seemingly shattered colony. And we'll do it over here. Let's put sandbags in the way. And then like right in here, in here, yeah, like that. That's right, boys, just stand on top of the spike traps. That will be perfectly safe. And I think this one's safe already. We just have to fill up all of the gaps. And suddenly now they're forced to walk through. Let's just pick up all this shit from the floor, too. There is a lot- ooh, hi. Weirdly enough, the main thing that we need at this point in time is, uh, smoke leaf. We just never gained the skill. I completely forgot about this, uh, whole section of shit. Yeah. There's, there's a lot over here. Allow, 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 allow. Uh, a rat is sleeping on it. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing. I'm also thinking this, if since we're at the ultimate point of our civilization and we just have nothing to do but lie around and make spike traps, let's just do that. I mean, my colonists will avoid them whenever they can, so let's just fill the entire map with spike traps. Just the entire map as spikes. Okay, we'll need a good blueprint for this because I'm not doing this. This could take a while. Oh no, everybody who walks into the field of corpses is going crazy because they've spotted so many corpses around them. Yeah. Colonist died, witness Ali's death, observe corpse. I, unfortunately, that doesn't stack. Oh yeah, they just go out and they just have a tailgate because they're all going crazy. Just have the drugs that all the dead guys left. It's totally fine. It's fine. Look, it's like a procession. It's like a New Orleans funeral procession. Ex except it's totally not that. <laughs> just much worse. Spike little. Like little. All right, let's just fill literally the entire map with wooden spike traps because we have nothing else to do. <laughs> This'll work, I'm sure. Come on, all you're doing is waiting for scientists to come up with a better answer anyway. So this ought to work. All right, now let's take that and make an even bigger blueprint. Bigger. All right, now we're finally cooking with fire and build those there <laughs> and these here. And oh my God, I love, I just love, don't you just love the blueprint mod? It's probably my favorite mod. Let's make an even bigger one now. That's as big as it gets. Okay, biggest. All right, everybody just fill up the rest of the world with spike traps, not even really paying too, so much particular attention to where they're going anymore. I just want to feel safe at night from bad people. Okay, let's see how long it's going to take them to do that. It'll be quite a while, I think. And we'll tell them to put them out here and over here and just... Uh, surprised I'm not getting any lag off of this. All right, that's strange, but okay, okay. All right, now I'm telling them to cover literally the entire map in spike traps. <laughs> just go... Just put them everywhere, goddammit. Everywhere in sight. I hope we have enough wood for this. It would be a real bummer if we didn't. I can't wait to see what happens when they walk in from the map edge. Here we go, nothing but spike traps, far as the eye can see. Since our kill boxes didn't work, this ought to fend off the enemy. And okay, we'll just put them in here, everywhere but the refrigerator. I, I can't believe the idea had never uh, come to me <laughs> to just fill the entire map. This is like the perfect spam. This is the perfect spam. We might not even have to fight anymore at all. You know what? Let's just take everybody off of every other task and we'll just put them onto researching. No, you know I wouldn't do that. But everybody's already on construction. While we're at it, I guess we should just tell them to chop down the rest of the map too, right? So that we get the wood. Because where else are we going to find all of the wood to finance this project? It's okay. You were going to have to deforest this anyway. Okay, we got to bury this guy now. A lot of my colonists have died. It's a shame. But necessary red blood. Red blood. For the Red Army. Okay, this is gonna be a while, so I'm just gonna let them do this work while I go get a cup of coffee. Come on, boys. Just several thousand more spike traps to go. Time's a wasting. We still have over 58,000 wood in storage. I'm sure this will go swimmingly. I seem to have gotten an odd sort of lag again, induced by having thousands of spike trap orders on the map. Interesting. 
I would not rec recommend doing this. I also think it's impossible to build these inner spike traps, or uh, sandbags, because we've already built the outer ones. It's weird, but I don't think that they can stand on them like that. It's uh, very, very odd behavior. But, I mean, this is an odd scenario, so screw it. Well, this ought to work. Now, this is weird. I always wondered how they behaved in RimWorld. Uh, I thought that they would just, like build things from left to right, but I think that they, like, radiate outward. They build things closer to the base, and then things that are farther away, because they've gotten done with the spike traps over here, but there's still- everything on the periphery is still to go. Imagine the wildlife won't be too happy with this. The wildlife that remains. <laughs> there's not a lot, but what's left is very peaceful. Wow, look what happened to the frames per second! Will this even be possible? Will it be possible? Uh, I don't know. Is it worth it? I want to keep the dream alive. I've seen what it would look like to have a hundred thousand spike traps, but I want my frames per second back in there also. It's been like five days and they haven't done this. You know, maybe we should save this. This would be great for another. I, I think I'm just gonna have to do an entire series on this. At some point in the future, for now, we're gonna have to do the boring thing. We're gonna have to quit on this one. It's just too much for one colony to sustain. Otherwise, I can always remake them, but... I know I'm boring, but... I don't know, game crash? versus cool thing. I, I want- I want to play the game still. But you know I'm gonna come to back to this, uh, idea at some point in the future since- <laughs> since I've already had it. Alright, uh, goodbye spike traps. Goodbye. See you later. Alright, it looks like I'm starting to get some of my frames per second back gradually. This is oddly satisfying. Ooh, polka dots. A lot of polka dots. Yep, this is definitely the reason why the game was- <laughs> I have, like, full speed back now. That's wild. That's weird. Man, that takes away my hope at being able to make an entire map full of spike tracks at some point in the near future. Oh, well, we can at least build them around the entrances. Yeah, that ought to do. At least I still get to have some of my fun. Well, we got the ones that mattered, right? And right over here. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. All right, well, it looks like I have my FPS back. And our kill boxes are ready for whatever comes next. Yep, we have- we have 100% of the FPS left. That's- that's actually wild. I- I can't believe how much smoother that made the game run. It's like a whole new game. Ah, finally, we're starting to reap our first medicine. We won't- I mean, it's only herbal medicine, but we won't need to rely on the stores that we came in with, which is great, because we're running out. Ah, perfect. Now they're starting to focus on the tasks that really matter. Great, we're gonna have this up in no time. Perfect, perfect. Let's see how many they make in one day. Progress. They got all this done by the end of the night. Now what about tomorrow? Yeah, 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 yeah. Stop the planting, I say. Stop the planting. No more, no more growing. No one does any growing. No one does anything but, uh, constructing. Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. We're re- uh, we're reassessing the entire colony to construct these spike traps. We're not reassessing, we're re- wh whatever we're doing. Whatever we're doing. Good. Everyone work. Work. Ah, uh, now they're completing all of them. Smashing, smashing. Wow, we were able to knock all this out in, like, five hours. Oh, the dream is becoming a reality. Okay, you know what? Let's- let's go for it then. Let's try it again. Onwards. Onwards. To spam. Spam. Except for this spam. And again, we'll just spam over here. And not- not too much at once, otherwise the computer will probably break still. I still want to have a computer, otherwise I can't record these videos. But God damn it, I'll- I'll do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Ah, oh, yes, 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 do it. Do it, baby. <laughs> this guy's in an, an insulting state- No. No, oh, he's not- he's not insulting people anymore. He just stared at a spike trap for a few minutes and then that was enough. I too like to stare at dangerous items whenever I get angry. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's like an anthill again. It's an anthill, that's- and that's- that's what it should be. And it's my anthill. My own. My precious. Oh, Builder 13 seems to have an outstanding relationship with all everyone. Almo almost everyone. <laughs> they, they, I mean, that speaks- Jeez, they could be hating each other, all of them. Uh, how are you- how are you doing here today? Oh, you like ev everybody likes each other. They have everything in common. Well, we've gotten down from 60,000 to 26,000 wood practically overnight, so... I think this is about the extent, but we have gotten one massive spike trap wall around each one of our, uh, except for this one, each one of our kill boxes. And that's spam. And that's spam. I think this, this one in particular is my favorite. Just the entire screen is spike traps. I gotta say, I feel bad for the colonists who go on a sad wander, because there's a strong chance of wandering 
onto something. Look at Minor Eleven expressing his individuality with a pink cloth shirt, Plants 14 red hat and all. Handler 3, you get back here, you son of a bitch. He's trying to binge. <laughs> Even while he's being beaten, he's binging on Smoke Leaf. He couldn't take the death. His sister Pei died and five of the colony- Oh god, that sucks. And now he's in intense pain and constantly trying to smoke a joint. While Cleaner 4 beats him over the head with a machine pistol. Put it down, man. Alright, he's saved. I love you. Ah, don't you just love the smell of a freshly laid out spike trap? Or a whole field of them? Look, they've just let all of the animals and corpses decay. No, they might burn my spike traps down. No, no. Good job. Good job, everyone. Good job. Come on, everybody. Just 5,000 more to go. Once my game speeds up again. Oh, and we have more of our research done. Hooray! We're getting close now. That's exactly what we needed. I want one guy going to space. Just one. One out of 200. That's all it takes. Oh, this rat got struck by lightning. Jeez, what were the odds? Starvation. Food binge. Stream break risk. But hard labor bears such fruits. You man of the cloth. Cleaner 20s on a daze. Tantrum. Days. I just want to take you through the life, a day in the life of one of our colonists. You wake up in bed. You walk along the fields and look at several art sculptures. You then go to a mess hall where you get Soylent Green out of a container. And you eat in a row with four other people all wearing cowboy hats, all staring in the same direction as you. Maybe you play pool. You visit the infirmary. Optionally, you visit the room beside the brew infirmary where you're offered medicinal marijuana. You then pick up logs and you go back along the same path through an entire array of spike traps, and then you go to the edge of the world where you build one of several thousand spike traps with a bunch of people who look exactly like you. And you go back, you play pool again, you have more medicinal marijuana to counteract the massive migraines that are constantly engulfing everyone around you. And then you go to bed. And then you wake up the next day and do it all over again. Meanwhile, we hope that scientists figure something out. And that's more or less an allegory of our own real world. And we do this for generations and generations. Until one day, a herd of... A herd of hungry alpha beavers arrive. Oh shit. <laughs> F them all. And just F them all. Let's F them together. Ooh, Cutter 3 is throwing a party! My god, it's a real live cowboy convention. I never thought I'd live to see it. It's amazing. Everyone's getting along so well. Oh, this is gonna be wonderful. Wonderful news for the colony. Look, they're all- <laughs> Everyone's armed. Everyone's armed. Okay, everyone go home now. Everyone go home. Oh, they're all eating together too. Wow. Friendship and helping. Oh. My god, that's awesome. Wow, they haven't all eaten together like this yet. It took a party to do it. Wow. Wow. Fun. Alright, we've gradually taken out the uh, Alpha Beefer menace. It seems they won't be bothering us anymore. You know, go away, go away. And our builders have come a considerably long way. They're now at construction 12, 11, and 12-ish. And, uh... Yeah, they're, they, they should be able to work on these traps independently. Let's make nature safe for these rats and squirrels again. Let's add the beavers to the pile. Uh, another bountiful harvest. You know, I don't know if it exists, but someone should invent a tractor mod. It would really help out here. <laughs> Rather than a hundred people farming by hand. Well, I hope that the next enemy, when they do come, comes, like near one of the actual trap areas, because it would be a real bummer if they didn't. Like, if they came through here and we did all that work for nothing. Uh, I've ordered them all off of planting, so now they're all satisfyingly bringing everything into the fridge. It's like a bunch of dwarves getting gold. Yes, that will be enough food forever for us. Forever. Honestly, that might never- that might be enough forever. You might not need food- I've never had to not think about food at all. This might be it. This might be it. And good, we have one, two, three, four, about 17 layers of spike traps over here as a buffer between us and whatever. Assuming that they come straight through and attack. All right, it's time to lie in wait. Good, good, go, my people, go, my people. I was gonna say, make sure that, you're, that none of your colonists ever get their spine shattered. This is not good. We, they keep putting him in bed and then he's like, oh, I can't do anything. He's moving, is at zero percent. You might have to make this guy into like Professor X, kinda. Cause look, they'll put him in bed, 
And he gets in bed, and then he's like, Wait, any minute now, any minute. Oh, he didn't- he didn't do it now that I asked him to. But he just, uh, I mean, I can't blame him for just sitting there, but, I mean, it's bringing me back to the organization right now. There's not much, there's not much left with this guy. Yeah, whatever, he'll just, he'll just lie in there. Maybe he, he'll be the one to go to space. You know what, Crafter 2, we're gonna do it for you, baby. You're gonna go to space. You and your shattered spine and your torn off left ear, we're gonna send you out so that you can go somewhere. It's, why is there a triple rocket launcher lying in the middle of the floor? Minor one, minor one, come hither. Minor one, you must wield it. For you are the chosen one. You are the one whom, for whom the bodies are burned. The one whom the others adore. The one with the rocket launcher. Go in peace. Well, I'd say we're pretty good now. We've got enough of these things, and uh... Let's, uh, I, I'm, I think I'm just gonna wait till we get a, something actually happen, and then we'll, I'll meet up with you then. I've stored away more than enough food, more than enough, more than we need. And they're really intelligent with this stack XXL mod. I'm liking it. You know, I, I knock mods a lot. I, 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 I think I can play without mods, but in the end, they're amazing. They're amazing. Uh, Donkey 1 has found- Donkey 1 and Donkey 2 and Cow 6 have found a new spot. Ah, well, it's been nice knowing you all. A group of mechanoids from Zenalf Mechhive have arrived in transport pods nearby. They're attacking immediately. Jump to location. Okay. Oh, okay. shit, fuck. Um, wait, isn't that supposed to- Okay, uh, fuck. Okay, come in, come in, my people, come in. Okay, my people, okay, uh, go over here, my people. A last alliance of men and elves. Or just, just cowboys, just cowboys. And they fought for the freedom of Middle Earth. If anything deserves a yeet, it's, it is that. All right, get out of the kitchen. We're gonna do this for Crafter 2, for his sake. And where is Crafter 1? Crafter 1, he's the one with the triple rocket launcher. We need to get him on. I know that it's not that effective, but get him on in, in on this. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, it seems they've hit the first array of spike traps, and they are arriving a little bit too, f too fast, too fast. I don't want them in this fast. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit. Builder 1's been shot. Oh, why would you be out there, though? Why would you be out there? Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay, well, that's it for them. Uh, ooh, ooh, one is getting through the compound. One is getting through the compound. One is getting through the compound. The other ones are- ooh, shit. No, no, okay. Good, well, that's fortunate, that's fortunate, that's fortunate. We've got- uh, this is kind of a shit show. I wish people had been there when we started, but- But alas. Okay, well, fortunately, we're fighting them one at a time, one at a time. Okay, good, good, good. Good, this sandbag thing is working. Okay, we need more people. Need more people at the front line. Everybody get into the front line. Good job, people. Good. Uh, you stand there. You stand there. This is... possibly safe? I- Ooh. Ooh, no, don't- don't- don't come. Don't- don't come anywhere near this- Don't come anywhere near this fuselage. Um, I- I think we're maximi- Oof. Ah, jeez. <laughs> oh, well. Um... Yeah, those guys are dead. Yeah, they're, they're definitely dead. Well, at least they've served as cleaner seven. Get the F out of there. Okay, uh... Nope, don't go over there. I think we're gonna have to draft everybody because they're all... Like, I need to repair that wall right now. Mm, mm. Okay, well, this is the big question. Can they take on these guys? Can they take on these guys? Oh, no, they're actually destroying the wall itself. That's kind of bullshit. Uh... Ooh. Well, they've gotten one of them, though. They've gotten one. They've gotten one centipede from Zenalf Mechive. Uh, fuck. Okay, uh, should we just charge them? I don't know. Uh, I'm worried about those explosive shots, but... There's gonna be some death. There's definitely gonna be some death. I, I think the main question is, will they destroy all of the walls that we've built? And, okay, you all retreat. <laughs> retreat? <laughs> Oh god, okay, reinforcements. You know, the thing is that if we can- if we can take this out, that's the main threat to this colony. Nothing else is as bad as mechanoids. Oh my god, Jesus, man. Uh, just spam versus spam. Alright, you know what, just get everybody in here. <laughs> just get everybody in here. Ah, uh, jeez. How many are left? How much health do you have? Jesus. Okay, we've taken out most of them. And only one of these horrible things remains. I can't even... Yeah. Just do... Just do that. Do that. Oh my god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Okay, we gotta rush the last ones, because the last ones have a decent spot for aiming. Let's get all these people. Many of you will die. 
um, draft. Many of you will die. Keep throwing human lives at the- Okay, let's do this. This is turning into a fuselage. But it's my fu- You know what? It's my fuselage. Will that one last one kill us? How many of them are even left? I can't tell between the dead and live ones. Okay, lots of people over here. Oh, shit. Oh my god. That's awesome. That's awesome. I can't believe- I think we're gonna survive, though. We are actually gonna survive this shit. Holy cow. Holy cow. You're gonna do it. They're gonna do it. There's only one left. He's like all of my race, all of my people. They've all been destroyed. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> Oh, now we face the death. This is like the end of the Battle of Five Armies when Thorin Oakenshield dies. Oh god. Oh my god. What are all these people doing? Are they all down? Cowering. Okay, they're cowering from nothing now. That was one, two, three, that was at least eight. That had to be at least eight of them. Um, <laughs> this guy's like, I'll bring the... I'll bring the smoke leaf joints to everyone. Uh, no, pick pick the people up. Jeez, well, you, I don't even think we're gonna have the, as many beds as we need for these. Oh, God. I'm going to have an aneurysm if I try to sort all this out, so... I'm just gonna say this. We did it. We did it. We survived a mechanoid attack. They destroyed the entire kill box, but we did it. <laughs> oh, carrying back the fallen cop. This is awful. Oh, my God. Shit. <laughs> Everyone's gonna go crazy. How many smoke- we have- oh, fuck. See, the number that I'm really worried about is the eight smoke leaf joints remaining. I'm not even worried about medicine. I'm worried because everyone's gonna be just in excruciating pain for weeks. We don't- we don't have the- we don't have the medical coverage for this. Is everybody assigned to do everybody is assigned to doctoring. Medical emerge- these people are just going to die. I don't even think I can do anything about it, really. I mean, F me and the F me. But, oh yeah, run wild murderous rage. <laughs> but on the other hand, too, like, we kind of won. Like, the chances of another mechanoid attack are low, right? Like, isn't it... Colonists left on... Okay, well, we knew that. I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna tr Mad hair, okay. <laughs> He's like, I'll get revenge for them. <laughs> ah, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'll revenge my alien overlords. Death. Oh, Handler 1. Oh, it did at least Minor 1 survive. That's all I need to know now. Did at least Minor 1 survive? I mean, the thing is, I'm, like, deep down, I'm happy. Even though that Minor 1 died, you know what? Crafter 2, with his shattered spine, will go to space. And then when he goes to space, that'll be the beginning. The start of something new. The start of something new. Oh, what is- uh, you're gonna die. Can't even do anything that- uh, you all get unrecruited. Ah, uh, shit. Well, that was kinda awesome. I've never actually beaten, like, the maximum mechanoid attack. Holy shit. I mean, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But we survived. I'm not- I'm not even gonna tell them to grab the guns, because we probably will have that few or many colonists. That probably had to be 30 people die in that fight. Ah, oh, God. Alright, um... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm just gonna pause. I'll do a little bit of... I mean, it's- it's gonna be a lot of death. It's gonna be a lot of death, and then more death. But we survived the maximum mechanoid raid. And you know what? I think it was the sandbags that did it. I wish I had had even more sandbags. Like, just sandbags everywhere. The sandbags might be even more overpowered than spike traps, because the spike traps did nothing. Look at the ones that they walked through. Maybe if we'd had the whole map, I still think that's a great plan to cover the whole map in spike traps, and it'll definitely happen. But je Jesus Christ, the sandbags. Like, MVP on the sandbags, not even the- not even the pawns. Which just kind of goes to show that if you know the RimWorld security items, uh, you can, like, win any fight. Like, there's always some way to spam mechanics. Alright, you're all- you're all definitely dead. But, uh, where are- Do we still have any of our researchers left? Uh, I can't even do it anymore. Do we still have any of our researchers left? If we have the three researchers left, we're going to space. Okay, we have research two and research four. Research two is in a bed. I should check those guys. <laughs> and research four. Okay, they both got beds. They both managed to claim beds before this. Researcher 3 is stressed. He's gonna die in 20... Let's just make sure we save Researcher 3. That's being reserved by Taylor 3. What if he passes out before... No, you're fine. 
You rescue him. We have three of our researchers. I think everybody else is... Everybody else is gonna die. Some people were totally not in the fight, though, so we'll just rely on those people. Build out the spike traps. Now we know how to spam defenses. I honestly... Oh, minor one. No. No. Uh, see, the irony is that triple rocket launcher, I think, does... Doesn't it do fire damage? Which doesn't actually really do anything to these guys. I've tried throwing Molotovs at Mechanoids. They're so fire resistant. Uh, we're gonna get a lot of this. Anyway, I think we'll have enough to fend off, like, one more attack, because there were just a bunch of people who weren't even involved in the fight, right? Anybody who was in the north? Nah, I've been affected in some way. Right, well, you know, here's the things we made it through. Mechanoid attack, several raids, and, uh, a couple, uh, a couple drones. All thanks to, uh, mainly thanks to kill boxes and, uh, kill boxes and smoke leaf joints, so. Lesson learned, kill boxes, sandbags, and smoke leaf joints are OP. Otherwise, uh, that was pretty friggin' sick. I'm, I'm surprised we actually managed to survive that and we're, uh, we're still around. But, uh, yeah, we're going, we're going to space next time. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, I guess we're gonna leave it there because I gotta clean up and uh, prepare the rest of them. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, keep it coming with the good tips. Anyway, thanks for watching. My name's Ambiguous Amphibian, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.